On August 7th, 45,000 Verizon union workers from Massachusetts to Virginia walked off the job. Since then, Verizon customers have been having a hard time getting repairs and installations, including Dustin Kelly, who just moved into his new Chesterfield home on Monday. When you first call, you get that first recording. Thanks for calling Verizon. Please be advised, due to a strike, you may experience significant delays in having your call answered. When I called them, they're like, well... We can't get a technician out to you. We don't know when we could. Fortunately, he realized later that the house was already wired, so Verizon said they'd send him a box with a do-it-yourself kit, which he's hoping will work. In the meantime, he's been without internet for his computer or cable for his television. Today, we talked to a Verizon spokesperson who tells us Verizon has trained thousands of management and other non-union employees who are now out in the field and answering calls. We recognize that we don't have 45,000 management employees to fill the, the shoes of the 45,000 union represented employees who are on strike, but we do have a, a, a large number of people in the, in the field. We're also asking for the public to show some patience while they're negotiating. More on that coming up at 6. Kim Schumacher, 8 News. Verizon customers are still struggling to get installations and repairs after nearly two weeks of a union strike. I'm Kim Schumacher. You'll hear from frustrated customers and Verizon coming up. On August 7th, 45,000 Verizon union workers from Massachusetts to Virginia walked off the job. Since then, customers have been frustrated trying to schedule repairs and installations, including Dustin Kelly, who just moved into his new Chesterfield home on Monday. When you first call, you get that first recording. Thanks for calling Verizon. Please be advised, due to a strike, you may experience significant delays in having your call answered. When I called them, they're like, well... We can't get a technician out to you. We don't know when we could. Fortunately, he later realized the house was already wired, so Verizon is sending him a do-it-yourself kit. In the meantime, he's been without internet or cable TV, making him so desperate he bought rabbit ears just to get by. Today, a Verizon spokesperson responded to these problems, saying they've trained thousands of management and other non-union employees who are now in the field and answering calls. We recognize that we don't have 45,000 management employees to fill the, the shoes of the 45,000 union represented employees who are on strike, but we do have a, a, a large number of people in the, in the field. We'd ask that the public just show a little patience during this time and understanding. Kim Schumacher, 8 News. Verizon also says since the strike began, there have been 210 acts of sabotage from Massachusetts to Virginia, including cut wires in Midlothian and a shotgun blast that damaged cables in Prince George. These acts by uh, whomever is doing them are, are criminal, uh, they're reprehensible, and they also show that the folks who are doing them, be they union members or not, are, are not showing a lot of concern for customers themselves because they tie up our management employees who have to go out and, and fix these criminal acts, and that just delays service for everybody. The FBI is investigating. Verizon is offering a $50,000 reward. Jason? 